Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. This video is all about Thrifty Thursday, which is where I show you each week um, some of the things. I try to show you the things I thrifted from the past week. So I've got quite a bit to show you here, so we'll see what we can get through. Um, I, had a lot, I have a lot of fun thrifting. I mean, <laughs> just, I don't know, it's just fun to because you never know what you're gonna find it's it's crazy but yeah and and you know we like weird stuff junk journalers and paper crafters we like all the weird stuff so a lot of times people don't buy it like i found i'm trying to pull this out for you because it's the biggest thing and then i can kind of maybe organize this as i'm showing you let's see what is this okay so this is some ledger paper i found uh at the thrift store and it's beautiful. Uh, this is, I think, one of the only pieces that are not written on, or it's not written on this side, but it's written on this side. But it's what I'm going to do with this is, um, you know, use it in my journals and things. It's a beautiful yellowish, like a buttery yellow uh, color for the background. And can you see that? I'm like holding it up so close. But I wanted you to see the lines. See the lines. It's night here, so I've got my my two lights and, you know, shadows going on here because I've got all these lights on. But uh, I just really loved it when I saw it, and I've never found anything like this before, this color. Uh, let's see. Did, did I see? I think I saw a year. Did I see a year on here? Anyway, it's writing like this, and uh, what I would do is, you know, when I use it for a journal you know if it was in my journal I would just you know have it as a page or however big it is just picture this as a page and then whatever I'm doing the writing and everything here would be just my background as far as if I'm going to glue something on here or if I'm going to write you know I would, could find a spot like this over here you could write I mean there's plenty of lines to write on you could write over here you know you could write anywhere and put your picture or your whatever you're gluing down over the writing. So, uh, you know, I think it's really cool. There's, I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess there's, I'm probably not even, I don't know. I'm gonna guess there's 50 pieces here, 50 pages, front and back, and they have these little receipts uh, on here. Um, I'm thinking I will, you know, get my staple remover and take these off uh, gently so I don't disturb the paper or tear it or anything and uh, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that should I leave the receipts or take the receipts off I I would really like to take the receipts off so I have the, the just the paper I'm sure the receipts can be used as like a good piece of journaling paper or something it's the little receipts here have red and black numbers where they were adding and subtracting and things like that but uh, yeah here it is uh, you know it's all written on but I love it here's one with a lot of writing I think it's it's very neatly written let me show you this one right here with a lot of writing on it and show you how neat this is I mean I just think it's really kind of really pretty numbers here numbers if you like numbers <laughs> you'll like this uh, let me see if you can see I think you can see that very pretty uh, handwriting as far as writing numbers goes so, oh, I was going to look for a year here. I I thought I saw a year, but now I'm seeing... Oh, here it is. 1991. So, it is vintage. Been around for a little while. On that one sheet, it said 1991. So, I'm not going to look at uh, any more because I have a lot to get through here in, the, in our time together tonight. So, I hope everyone's having a great week. Uh, let's see. The next biggest thing is uh, these are a couple of booklets uh this says office machine practice i thought this little lady i like the blue and i like this little lady on the front here what is this a little piece of something there <laughs> let me oh that comes off good and see here's the back is solid uh let's see if we can get a date here 1961 so office machine practice and uh, you know, the 1960 offices, uh, the machines, office machines of 1961. This was apparently maybe a class that someone was taking because this is like a 
you know, they apparently probably worked through this book in their class. And so there is pencil, pencil writing in some of this, but I think it's really cool. I mean, I remember taking an off machine, office machine class in, uh, where, when was that in college, I think. And, um, but of course the machines were, you know, much more advanced <laughs> than they're showing in here. So it's kind of cool to see like someone was taking a class to learn how to use these adding machines right here. Uh, I think these are, it, oh, it says a 10 key machine, but I believe that's uh, an adding, you know, I'm going to call it an adding machine, but you know, adding, subtracting, whatever, whatever it did. Uh, let's see what else. There's a lot of blank pages. Oh, here's another full keyboard machine. That is cool. Looking with all those buttons. And then let's see if they show any more. I like the pictures of the old machines. Monroe calculator. There you go. How would you like to use that calculator with all those buttons? That is funny. Look at that thing on the top. I don't know what that is, but it's really cool looking. So this was all about the calculators and the adding machines of the day. Uh, let's see what I guess this is some other kind of telling you how to multiply here. Add a Burroughs calculator comptometer <laughs> right here. Very cool, right? Okay, those are, I think that's, I love looking at stuff like that. Can you tell? So uh, here is an old book, 10 cents. It was new tablecloths. That is cool. Isn't that a pretty cover? <laughs> a yellow. And, okay, so that's showing you the patterns, I guess. They look like doilies. I mean, this looks like a doily, and those look like doilies, but it's just showing you maybe the different patterns. But uh, how you can maybe decorate your tables and things like that. Is this about crochet? Hold on. It is about crochet. That's right. Okay, so this is about crocheting tablecloths. Here's all the little how to do it. Second row, third row. So, and look, the different threads, crochet threads uh, that you use. I'm not, don't know anything about crochet. I've only crocheted with yarn and um, fabric, actually. So, <laughs> let's see, what else did I get? Uh, this is a bag of, I don't know if I have this size, but I went ahead and got it because uh, they look like sizes I didn't have. Uh, this is some kind of tabs little tabs to go on something, I believe. They look like they've been around for a while. Index tabs. And these are, now I do have four by six. Let's see what I have here. I didn't really open this bag up. I just saw a lot of stuff in here. So this is a manila colored uh, ABC or alphabetical uh, four by six uh, index card dividers. And then here's some more. So that had this, the manila tabs. This has the colored tabs. Let's see, here's some three by five. Is there some index cards in here too? Boast. <laughs> Maybe it was for a vocabulary chagrin <laughs> class or something somebody was taking for school. Uh, so a bunch of four by six. Let's see, so all these are four by six and with colored tabs. And these are yellow tabs. I like the yellow. What's this here? I thought I saw something. There is something here, but I guess it's the index card. So those, and then this is what I saw, these big ones. Oh, here's another little one, just with the manila tab. Here's alphabetical. These are bigger. Uh, the, I, I'm sure you've seen these, but these are what? These are, I'm just measuring below the tab, five by eight okay so these must be about five by eight two huge index cards i don't i wonder if they still sell these i never i don't see these anywhere that i go so that's pretty cool big index cards and then here see here's what i saw too oh these are blank these tabs are all blank they're manila that same bit larger size but they're blank tabs Okay, very interesting. I really like these. These might be my favorite thing in the bag. So, yeah, that was all in that bag. Pretty cool. I was wondering what was in there. 
Awesome. This is a huge Ziploc bag, too. Not a gallon bag, but whatever the next size up is. Okay, so let me put that to the side. And see what other goodies I have here. This is uh, opened up the little notebook rings on here, but these are recipes. A little booklet of that was held together with these notebook rings. I don't think I opened these up. I think they were opened up and I just uh, picked it up and brought it to the register just like this. But uh, yeah, I'll take this apart and just use these. Uh, 1966, well, this is 14th edition, 1998. So they are vintage. They had a little cover here. This one says bread. This is all bread recipes. Now there's salad clam fritters, chicken, so different recipes on these little, they almost look like, well, they're just plain, uh, plain, what, three by five cards, and they're blank on the back, so they'd be cool in a journal where you have a little recipe on the front, and you could decorate this in some way, and then have the back space for journaling. So, well, this was originally cheap, say, cheap, Chesapeake Trading Company, eleven ninety five for this little book booklet. It has a little. Okay, here we go. Here's the front. Uh, that's really hard to read, but uh, it looks like it came from Maryland. If you're from Maryland, there you go. Maybe you can. You know where that is. Uh, Saint Michael's, Maryland. It looks like. And there's something up here that I can't really read. Saint Mary's something or other. So that's cute, right? So yeah, somebody maybe somebody bought that as a souvenir when they visited Maryland and uh, then it ended up at the thrift store. So here's a little cute little book that I found. Carl Fisher Practice Record. And it is little music sheets. It is written in and used, but I still like stuff like this. I mean, uh, you this person wrote up here lesson assignment wrote up here was there less maybe this was um for some kind of music lessons and they wrote up there but they didn't really write down here on the line so i think that's i just thought it was really cute little booklet um i don't know if i'll take it apart or what i'm trying to see if there's a, any type of date on here to get an idea of how old it is oh it says I think this is 86, maybe right there. 96, I think that maybe that's a 96. So it's vintage. It does look vintage, the, the cover does. I like this cover. So I gotta think about what I'm gonna do with that. I'm not sure if I'm, I just, I think it's so cute. That's why I got, I like that red cover. Um, some, let's see, where did I get these? These were at the thrift store. Uh, they were just like this with a, <laughs> one of these, um, ties these uh what do they call these zip ties and their recipe cards they're both are they both the same or different so we got a cupcake cupcake okay yeah they're both the same yeah they're both the same and they're just i know this is causing glare so i'm going to try to show it to you without the glare maybe at an angle here we've got a it's a pretty green with the burgundy and then it's got a cupcake and a little hot cocoa cup here with a candy cane. So there's two of those, there's 20 per pack. They were together, so I thought they were cool. Um, here's another, I have a thing for little booklets lately, don't I? <laughs> but uh, this is Knox, da Knox Gelatin, dessert salads, candies, and frozen dishes. Super cute little Victorian looking cover in the back too. Isn't it cute? I might just stick this in my shop uh, copyright, let me see if I can see it, 19, oh yeah, 36, that's why I got this, pretty old, uh, it's in good shape, it's, you know, vintage condition, there are a few pictures in here, I see, let me flip through again, I don't want to tear, or, it doesn't feel, it doesn't even feel like super delicate, like it's going to disintegrate or anything like that, actually, here's the pictures, you can tell those are pretty old, right? <laughs> See, it has a little bit of, it was, looks like it was used or has been around. See, here, the back is spotty and, but I think that front cover is just really beautiful. So it does say, that's the only date I see in here is 19, 
36. So that must be the date around. It's from must be from around then, 1936. Super cute. I just really love that. Let's see. I found some recipe cards in a pack, just like this. Um, I don't see like sometimes they say Betty Crocker or something on them. Oh, this says Betty Home Better Homes and Gardens. Copyright 1989. These are still in the plastic. So just a little pack of them. So I picked those up. Let's see. I found some stickers I thought I might use in my own baby book or, you know, my baby journal type uh, creations. So there's some, one, some that say baby girl here. Think pink. My beautiful daughter just born. Little tags and stickers and things. Oh, they have little... Like glue dots is that just I'm not sure I'm not opening yet and I don't want to give you a lot of glare but two po two packages of those and then these stickers were there too they're also see these two are, these were used but a bunch of little baby like nursery rhyme related stickers here and these also look kind of baby related pretty much uh, puppets it says so like hand puppets and things and there's even some little sock puppets here <laughs> This is adorable right here. And a little clown, make believe it says fun, let's pretend. So uh let's see what's on the back. Just a picture. Okay. Is there two here? No, that's just one. Anyway, I thought in with my baby stuff I would be able to use some of that. Another cute booklet, Junior Baking Book. Of course I love the picture on the front, very retro. And the picture on the back, it's Betty Crocker. She does um such nice pictures and graphics and illustrations in her cookbooks. I just love them. And the, this inside was super cute too. 1953. Look at these. Here are your baking tools. And I'm just going to go until my buzzer rings and then I'll have to say goodbye. But we're just going to show you because I have a lot here. So we'll see what we get through. Here's even a little order form here. So really neat, neat, neat little you know, you can see the age on it, but I think it's still beautiful. So I'll probably put that in my shop. So just keep an eye out on my shop as I have time. I've been listing things. Uh, there was a notebook, a, a cookbook binder there. And it was kind of new looking, like it wasn't one that I wanted. So I just took the insides out. <laughs> they let me get the insides and they didn't, they didn't make me buy the binder. So there were these dividers. They're kind of like manila folder uh, quality. So... I would probably be able to use these as a whole in some type of journal or fold them or something, you know, or cut them to fit. So I got those and the other things that were in there. And I have been putting, when it, when they fit, I have been putting some of these uh, pockets in my journals. And all of these have recipe cards in them. They all have recipe cards in them, each one blank like this. Let me hold it so you don't get glare. But nice recipe cards, lines on the front. It says a uh, recipe for ingredients, for a recipe for on one line, and then ingredients on the second line. And then there's lines on the back. Uh, at the bottom, it says preparation time and servings. Uh, there is a date here, a copyright date of 2001. So that's actually vintage uh, now, or 2001 into 2021. There's just this one that's written on here with some nice handwriting on these recipe cards. This one, all it says is Florida Key Lime Pie. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was a good deal. Or I got a good deal on those. So, those are going to want to slide now. Uh, I found this at the thrift store, a stencil. And it's called, well, it's like a, gives it a, it's supposed to give whatever you're working on, maybe a crackle finish. So this is a crackle finish. See, here's a picture. Again, I'm trying to avoid glare, but <laughs> if I got, if you're getting any glare, I'm sorry. But uh, let's see. See the fence right here? That's an example of what you can do with this stencil. So I thought that was neat. Uh, let's see what else did I find. Some uh, score sheets. This is from what game? I don't know what game this is from. Kiz. It says Kismet. Players Exchange. Not sure, but anyway, I like score sheets. I like cool looking score sheets or, you know, game paper type things. So I thought these were neat looking. If I don't like them, I don't get them, but I liked these. And they have all these little squares and 
aces, deuces, trays, fours, fives, sixes. Maybe you know what that's all about. I don't, but 19, uh, what does that say? 19, it's either 85 or 65, right there. Maybe you can see it better than me. I know the camera blows it up sometimes, so <laughs> it's easier to see for you guys than it is for me to see it sometimes, usually. Uh, let's see, this was... Oh, sometimes I just find stuff floating around, and this is a little pieces of a piece of ephemera, a little uh, order form, Modern Home Medical Advisor, and it's it's brown, and I thought it was cool, so I picked it up. Uh, I don't see a date on here, but pretty cool, right? <laughs> I I just like the orange and the colors and the lines, and uh, this I think I even got this at the thrift store. Like I said, I find things floating around. It's even wrinkled, but I was like, oh, I, I like that ledger paper. <laughs> uh, some sheet protectors. I don't want to run out of these, so this one was a good price. Sometimes they, they're they asking a lot for these, but this one was cheap, so I got that one. Just so I don't run out. Let's see what else. A bunch of keys at my... Uh, I was at my favorite little antique store here in my town, and got. I showed you some keys. Um, was it like a couple weeks ago? I think. But here's some more. Um, I got these at the same time, and they just got separated from the other ones. But I like the di dark copper ones. These are, I guess these are copper, or whatever. They look like like copper. I really like the little ones. See these little ones here? These are so cute. This one is two different colors on that ring and then there's some these are silver colored but they're they have little numbers on them they're really cute and they're small they're not like tiny tiny but they're not regular size key you know like a house key so all these are look at these these are really cool right here i don't know what these went to like i said they're at an antique store in a box but these are super cute little shape here aren't they cute <laughs> I like those too. That's like my favorite ones right there. And then these are just some aged like house key. This is uh don't know what this went to, but it's got some age on it. And then there's some more little ones on a ball chain. An aged ball chain. That's pretty cool. And they're little neat shaped ones again. Look at this one. This one this might be the coolest one right here. Not that one. That's cool, but here's the the best one in the group I would say <laughs> can you see that shape it's so cool looking I love that I love I love those um, I picked these up at Dollar Tree just to have these in my stash once in a while when I'm packing up my orders or even in a journal I don't want to give you too much glare there but they're just these little cinch sacks or drawstring sacks that Dollar Tree carries or Ganza bags eight for a dollar Sometimes when I'm shipping something, I want to put it in something, a container, especially if it's a piece of jewelry or something. I do have some vintage jewelries in my shop, and so it's nice to put it in a little bag like that, to have something, you know, nice to put, put that type of thing in. Two patterns. Uh, I thought these were cute. There's a bunch of, so they're very fat, a bunch of uh, papers in here too, but... Uh, I thought these were cute. Uh, I don't like to try to find the dates on these because they're always in so different places. So I'm not going to try. But Butterick and Simplicity. So very cute. I picked up some fastener dots at Dollar Tree. I want to try to use these on some envelopes and see uh, how they work. Uh, they're, they're at Dollar Tree. So let's see. Now I've got a stack of papers. These must have been in a cookbook or something. Bunch of miscellaneous, like I said, I find stuff floating around. So it's just like, oh yeah, these are recipes, an old little kind of newsletter, 1968 recipes and recipes. Yeah, just old. Look at that one. Sometimes uh, um, they're even in a, a recipe book. And if I don't want the recipe book and I see these handwritten recipes in there I'll pull them out and get them get just get the recipes and leave the book behind if I don't want the book this is a nice cover 
Carolina Country Cookbook. Is she a nice cover for a journal? Okay, this is a big, uh, I don't know what it's from. You know what it looks like? I don't know. <laughs> it's a rectangle with rounded corners and it has a recipe written in, in on it. I don't know if this, if this is from an old cookbook or it almost looks like it was the top of something, you know? Like um, how they have the metal. I've, haven't I seen metal, the metal or foil pans with like something on this, on, like this on the top and you fold it over the edges and this is the top, something like that? I don't know. It might be from a recipe book though. though. Here's some spillage there. Some uh, <laughs> These were well loved, apparently sweet potatoes something or other some kind of cream cake sweet potato casserole and something pumpkin filling oh this is on stationery cute <laughs> so yeah floating around stuff uh, this is this is pretty first of all that is a pretty cover and then in here this is a guest book was it ever used hmm? I don't think so. <laughs> it's got blue lines and the word guess right here in blue. A pretty blue too. Just like the outside. And I remember looking at this in the store and because I have one where the pages are continuous. Like I was able to take them out and it's really one long. Like the two pages are together so you get a nice long wide page if you need it. These look like they're glued in so they're going to be probably separate pages. Uh, when I take this apart, but uh, if however they are, I like I like them either way. And I don't know how long this has been around. Very glittery though, no date, but I thought it was pretty. Oh, some more little pocket plastic pockets here. Let's see. I don't know. These I think were from. They look like they're from a photo album. Is that what this is? Hallmark? Because every unit, uh, yeah. <laughs> photo album, okay. Okay, these, maybe this was, I don't think I took these out of a photo album, though. They were just like this. Maybe it was a, re, you know, refill pages set or something someone got and then never used them, but I thought I could cut these down, too, if I wanted to. If I cut right there, maybe. And sometimes if I cut and it's open, there is a line there, like, where maybe it could be separated without it coming apart but if it does I'll sometimes just sew right along the edge there and then use that as a pocket or something here is some old oh this is a little envelope I found a little brown envelope see here's the flap is kind of torn off but uh, for a grungy little envelope <laughs> I thought it is thin too like it's a really neat little envelope uh, what does it say here post office department Boston Massachusetts and it's addressed. I wonder if they ordered stamps or something. I don't know, but I thought it was cool. Another envelope, brown, nothing in it, nothing in it. I don't know if something was in it and I took it out, but it says 1944 here on the postmark. And I just thought it was cool, a nice old brown grungy envelope. Here's some old music papers. See, I picked up all the stuff nobody wanted. <laughs> browned. I mean, who would pick this up except for me? I always say that, I know, but I mean, really. <laughs> Another booklet. Oh, I think we're going to make it to the bottom of my pile. New Method Cookbook. Uh, this is, you know, this is old. I'm just looking at this pattern here. This looks like mid, almost mid-century modern. Let's see. Oh, these are pretty pictures here. Let's see what year we have. Wherever, wherever, that's uh, Pots and Pans, I believe, a, a brand that's been around. And they're probably still around, but these are really cool pictures. Uh, I'm looking for a date, looking for a date. Let me look real careful here. I do not see one. Let's look at the back real quick because sometimes they put it in the back. Nope, I don't see one here either. But really cool pictures there. And so here's the inside. See, they had the little pictures on each page. I like that when they have pictures. <laughs> it adds so much. I mean, why not have a little picture <laughs> of some kind like that? You know, Betty Crocker does that too, and they're so cute. Here's all the wherever. 
their the wherever uh, pots and pans and things that they made. Some recipes, of course. So maybe this came. Oh, look at the, what's in the middle here. Let's see what this is. Some colored pages. More pictures of the pots and pans. Okay, let's see. So each chapter has different pots and pans and the recipes that you can cook in those pots and pans. That's a pretty picture there with the the grains and the beans, looks like. Dried foods and puddings. So you get the picture there, really cute. Here's electric an electric range. Use high heat, medium meat, what you use the different heat settings for on your electric range. Uh, this has got to be 50s, right? Look at this. <laughs> That's so, so like 50s looking. Oh, I love this blue here. That's pretty. Anyway, I love that. It's probably going to end up in my, in my shop, but just to show you, if it is in my shop, I want you to see what it looks like here. It's got some grunginess on it, but it's got some treasures in here if you want to just use the pages. I should keep it, but I probably will put it in my shop because I'm I don't have any room on my bookshelves. Um, I don't. Okay, another one of these. I never find these. I'm probably gonna have to keep this because I never find these. I just, you know, found that one double sheet that I showed you right here, and this, and that little booklet, you know, in the last couple week, week or two, a week or so. Oh, here's some notes written on that one. That's pretty. I like that. I wonder if I can copy that. That's cool. That's not copyrighted. <laughs> That's not copyrighted. So some more of this. This must have been somebody got rid of all this stuff and I just found it. So that some more of that and some more of that. Paper, different sizes and things. And we're still going. I didn't get cut off yet. This is a calendar. Let me see if I can take this out of the plastic so I can show it to you without any glare. A rooster calendar. I just thought this was pretty uh, paper. It's kind of a generic calendar where you fill in your own dates, it looks like. See, it's blank and all the days are blank, but all these little rooster papers, it's almost like it's just begging to be put into a junk journal, right? It's white on the back, so I might coffee dye these. Uh, do we have a date? Do we have a date at all? 20. Nope, that's the address. <laughs> That is not a date. That is an address. Okay. And then the last thing. Let me take it also out of the paper. And it is Christmas stationery. Oh, there's my buzzer. So I'm going to go real quick in a second. But this is some little like evergreens with berries on it. And this is uh, kind of like almost coffee dye looking. And white on the back and a bunch of that paper. So thanks for watching today. I will... See you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Happy crafting and happy thrifting.